Okay, so today we're going to finish up on our conversation about central sensitization. This is what many of the researchers have concluded is happening inside the fibromyalgia patient. The problem is they don't really give an explanation as to what causes central sensitization. We touched on it in our last video. I mentioned the biological imbalances. That's things going on inside you that are causing the problem, including a systemic immune imbalance, changes in the microbiome, hormonal imbalances, autonomic imbalances, mitochondrial dysfunction, and nutritional deficiencies. And guys, we could go on to add things like heavy metal toxicity, environmental toxins, yeast overgrowth, um, leaky gut syndrome, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. There really are a ton of things that can be going on beneath the surface causing this central sensitization. Today, we're just going to cover a few of those. So, systemic immune imbalances. Central sensitization is caused by systemic immune imbalances, including inflammation of the nervous system and the peripheral nervous system which include the spinal cord, the brain, the nerves located outside the central nervous system. Those would be peripheral. Now, when inflammation occurs in the nervous system, pro-inflammatory substances are released, which can cause central sensitization in widespread pain throughout the body. So inflammation can also stimulate pain in the actual tissues themselves. You have nerves in most of your tissues, including skin, joints, muscles, and visceral organs. Inflammation can cause these tissues to become irritated and can sensitize the nerves in these tissues. The result is increased pain levels, inflammation. Inflammation also causes changes in the vascular system, which prevents life-giving blood and oxygen from reaching nerve endings, resulting in fibromyalgia symptoms, including increased pain levels. Changes in the microbiome. I touched on this. So the microbiome is made up of trillions of microbes like bacteria, fungus, uh, viruses, protozoa that live on and in the body. The majority of the microbe are located in the gastrointestinal system and help you digest food, absorb nutrients, and influence many different biological processes throughout your body. Now, in order for you to have optimal health, your microbiome must have a diverse population of healthy bacteria. Unfortunately, many individuals have an unhealthy gut bacterial makeup. That's called dysbiosis. And dysbiosis is really a disproportional amount of bad bacteria to good bacteria. Environmental toxins, food additives, food processes, or processed foods, medications, overconsuming alcoholic beverages, and eating too much sugar, herbicides, and pesticides on food, and tap water can alter gut bacteria, causing dysbiosis and result in a plethora of health problems. It's known that people with fibromyalgia syndrome are more likely to have alterations in their gut microbiome. This may worsen pain, mood, and energy directly because of the substances that the bacteria produce, which alter brain function. Those substances, by the way, are their byproducts. So just like humans have waste, so also these microbiome have waste. Some are healthy and beneficial for us. Others are literally toxic. So it may worsen pain, mood, and energy indirectly by driving systemic inflammation. Then there's hormonal imbalances. Hormones are chemical messengers that help to keep the body in balance. There are more than 50 hormones in the human body that regulate pretty much all of your biological processes. There is intimate connection among your different hormones. For instance, the hormones and neurology activity of your pituitary gland, hypothalamus, thyroid gland, adrenal glands, and sex hormones are intimately connected. Various kinds of illnesses, lifestyle choices, and emotional or physical trauma can result in a loss of regulation of these hormonal systems. Many people with fibromyalgia and fatigue have loss of regulation of the adrenal, thyroid, and sex hormones. 
These hormonal imbalances can contribute to increased pain, fatigue, anxiety, depression, loss of sleep, loss of sex drive, and other symptoms. With appropriate guidance, there are a number of things that can bring the hormonal system back toward balance. That includes reduction of inflammation, improved sleep, appropriate exercise, nutritional supplements, stress reduction, and healing emotional traumas. Then there's autonomic imbalances. The autonomic nervous system controls involuntary actions in all the organs of your body. It has two branches, which are often called the stress response and the relaxation response. These two branches have opposite effects on all of your functions like blood pressure, heartbeat, digestion, immune, immune function, uh, muscle function, thoughts and emotions, and breathing. In our difficult times, many people are walking around with an overactive stress response. This is even more true for people who have chronic pain or chronic illness. Autonomic nervous disorders have been associated with complex regional pain syndromes, Parkinson's disease, and fibromyalgia. Studies have shown that fibromyalgia sufferers have a higher heart rate, increased muscle sympathetic nerve activity, and decreased sleep efficiency. When the autonomic nervous system is not functioning properly, individuals may experience exaggerated pain sensitivity. Does that sound like you? And then there is mitochondrial dysfunction. You remember what the mitochondrial are? Millions of mitochondria are found in all the cells of your body and are necessary for your survival. Mitochondrial produce energy that the cells need for function. In addition to this, mitochondria store calcium in cells until it's needed. They help produce heat in the body and determine when old or damaged cells should be destroyed or removed from the body. Mitochondrial function can be impaired from toxins, chronic inflammation, biochemical stress, overactive hormones, infections, and mental emotional stress. Mitochondrial dysfunction is found in many chronic pain and illnesses, including migraine, headaches, fibromyalgia, depression, autoimmune illnesses, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's. There are mechanisms by which mitochondrial dysfunction can contribute to central sensitization and widespread pain, as well as fatigue, brain fog, and other cognitive problems. Again, does that sound like you? And then nutritional deficiencies. Nutritional deficiencies have been associated with increased pain levels when the body is not receiving the nutrients that it needs for optimal health. Bodily functions and processes can be altered. Some of the processes affected include nerve signaling, enzyme function, metabolism, and digestion. Certain nutritional deficiencies have been associated with disease, including vitamin D, calcium, vitamin B12, potassium, and magnesium. Calcium deficiency can cause numbness and tingling in the extremities as well as abnormal heart rhythms. Calcium is needed for nerve function and muscle health. Vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiencies can cause muscle aches, weakness, fatigue, and mood changes. Now, potassium. When your body doesn't have enough potassium, your nerves, your heart, your muscles don't work properly. The body is unable to remove toxins from the body. B12 deficiencies have been associated with fatigue, weakness, neuropathy, which is numbness and tingling in your extremities. In addition to this, systemic inflammation can occur. Magnesium is essential to energy production and healthy bones. If you have a magnesium deficiency, you may experience fatigue, weakness, muscle cramps, irregular heart rhythm, and numbness and tingling in the extremities. So, functional medicine is designed to determine the root cause of an illness and correct the problem, rather than just treating the symptoms of fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome or any other chronic condition for that matter. Now, in functional medicine, we work to identify these biological imbalances and seek to correct them. Once the imbalances have been addressed and remedied, the symptoms of fibromyalgia will either be minimized or relieved. Guys, if we can be of any help to you, I'll leave my contact information here. If I can be of any help, please reach out to me. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you. If uh, our information isn't here long enough, you can look down in, this, in the description. I have a number of different resources that should be 
a help to you. So I hope this has been beneficial. God bless you. Thank you. And have a great day. If you are struggling with a chronic condition and would like more information, feel free to visit www.birminghamfunctionalmedicine.com. You are also welcome to set up a phone or Zoom consultation with Dr. Daly at www.talktodrd.com.